welcome to The Great Adventure. If you're new here, my name is Priscilla. If you're a subscriber, to see you again. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. I filmed some of the apartments that I saw when I was looking for my place in Rome. And right now I'm living in a room in an apartment that has four bedrooms total, so I have three roommates and a shared kitchen. I'm going to bring you along with me on the tours of the different places that I saw and kind of talk through the reasons that I chose one or another and then I'll talk through as well the pricing of each place. So let's get into it. So my goal in finding an apartment was somewhere that was close and easily accessible to the city center, but not necessarily right in the center, also because it's more expensive and there are a lot of tourists. So I wanted something more residential and more local. This apartment in the neighborhood San Paolo was 450 euro per month to rent the room. In total it had three bedrooms and two of the three had balconies and one or two of them had air conditioning. The pros of this apartment were that it was very light filled, it had great balconies and views, and the neighborhood is pretty quiet and residential, but it wasn't quite as close to the target area that I wanted to live in. The second place is in a neighborhood called Distaccio, and I really love it. It was where I was already living before, and so I knew the neighborhood pretty well. It was really well connected to the tram and the metro and buses, and is really close to the center, but feels very residential and local, so I really loved it. The pros of this place were that it was run by a landlord rather than an agency, which I think it's a little bit more flexibility and you can create a relationship with the landlord. It's also really great location, very beautiful terrace and outdoor space, which was one of the things that was highest on my list. And it had three rooms in total. This place initially would have been, I think, 500 or 520 euro a month. But meeting the landlord, he had a good vibe about me, so he wanted to give me a discount, which would have amounted to 470 euro a month, which isn't so bad. The negatives, though, as you guys see, are that the rooms were very small. It didn't really feel very light-filled. And even though the landlord was great and the price was great, the apartment itself just wasn't really as great of a quality as some of the other places I'd seen for a similar price. This third neighborhood is called Ostienze, and this is the neighborhood I ended up living in. Not this apartment or room particularly, but this is the room um, that I'd really wanted to stay in. And I told them two days later after seeing it that I wanted to take the apartment, and it was already gone. So I didn't get a lot of clips of the whole thing, but this is what I did get. Um, so yeah. This place is in the same neighborhood and run by the same agency. It's right next to this really well-known American cafe. Um, and I would have also willingly taken this place, but through some confusion, I ended up not getting it. Um, the pros are that it is pretty nicely renovated, but it's right on the train tracks, which is pretty nice. Um, not that it stopped me from living on the train tracks, because that's where I am now, so there you go. In this place, like the one right before it, is 520 euro a month. I forgot to mention that before. So if I could have relocated this apartment, I would have taken it in a minute. It was really nicely renovated, the landlady was very sweet and also offered me a discount. So it went from five, what would have been 530 euro a month to 480 euro a month, I believe. 
But anyways, it was in a neighborhood called San Lorenzo or St. Lawrence, um, which is a university neighborhood. I mean, the space was beautiful and the street was super quiet. This place has three bedrooms in total. I met one of the roommates and she was super sweet. And there's also a living room that I didn't get to film, mainly because we were all hanging out there and I didn't want to be awkward. The only big con is that it was not close to the city center and it was poorly connected. There's only one bus that passes nearby. And anyone who's ever been in Rome can tell you that the buses are not reliable. So I couldn't take it. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.